Today I want to talk about getting started in the gym. You all know it's, it's January, you want to start lifting, uh, you want to be more fit or start to exercise, run, lift, uh, swim, whatever it is. You just want to start the year off with something good. And that's a great mindset, I mean, that's probably one of the most important things because you really have to have a plan to get started on something. So today I'm talking about fitness, about going to the gym, but you can apply this in every kind of sport. If it's going to the gym, going to swim, going to run, uh, playing football, whatever you do, this applies to mostly every sport to get started. What's the most important thing before you start going to the gym? I think the most important thing is to have a plan. I mean, when you just go to the gym and you've never been before, you will be overwhelmed by everything you see. I mean, you have so many machines, free weights, other people, so it's really not an easy job to just start doing something and not knowing what you're doing. So get a plan, uh, find out uh, some sort of workout plan with some exercises and start start by just applying those exercises and doing some sort of routine personally i'm not a big fan of routines i mean i like to just uh, do what i feel like for the day and stuff like that but when you're getting started you have no knowledge so it's just too difficult so get a plan that's number one uh, when you get a plan and you're going to the gym don't be scared I mean there's so many people going to the gym new people and for especially for women they're all scared to go to the weight section because yeah you have all all those stereotype people in the gym I mean and in the weight section you have a lot of guys who are trying to uh, stand out but I mean don't compare yourself to anyone. That's number two. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Not not to not to the guys in the gym, not to the girls in the gym. No one. Just go for yourself. Go with your own goals. Make sure you have your goals and just go to the gym for yourself. Get your headphones, whatever, and take your plan, your workout plan. Get your headphones on and just do what you have to do. Don't mind other people and don't be scared to train i mean i think the most important step is just to get into the weight section and start doing some weighted exercises because that's the most difficult thing to do because 90 percent of the women will always be on treadmills and yeah and treadmills and sometimes on the the machines how do you call those machines uh, for your adductors and abductors so on some sort of leg machines but they are not doing everything they can and I think part of the problem is being scared to be in the weight section so I personally think that's the most important reason why most women don't go to the weight section and second of all is because uh, the, uh, you are afraid I think that you will get bulky uh, you will bulk up, you will be like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime or whatever, I mean, but that's impossible. I mean, most of the guys going to the gym are trying to achieve a physique like that and if for guys it's impossible. If you're not on steroids, steroids, you will have to work like a decade or more to achieve a really good physique with watching your diet and training and just doing everything perfect and still then you need perfect genetics so as you shouldn't be afraid of that because it's not going to happen you can watch many stories on YouTube or whatever about girls who had these thoughts initially and realized once they started that it's not like that so don't be afraid of that so just go to the weight section do your exercises and don't be afraid and I also think it's really important to watch your form on exercises because if you're new, 
you don't know how to perform a certain exercise so you probably heard yeah you have to squat you have to squat this and that and yeah squatting is a great exercise it's great for every sport but it can be difficult if you're new to the gym and you never squat before you never used weights before so personally i would suggest starting out like one or two months using machines but really focusing on form not just going through the motion really focusing on what you're doing and getting started like that and once you you've been training for one or two months and you have some more experience in the gym you can start going to the more free weight stuff so you can start doing more squats lunges uh, stuff like that so just combine uh, combine more free weights with machines you can still use machines i mean especially in this time we have a lot of great machines for leg development in my eyes i mean the abductor machines the adductor machines uh, some leg curls I mean it's really really awesome what you can do with machines these days you can perfectly get a good leg workout with machines it's just perfect but I would suggest if you don't have any injuries to try to squat for legs for example I mean it's a great leg development uh, a great exercise for leg development so if you can do it just go for it same, don't be afraid to train upper body because what I said earlier, you won't get bulky. So it's not because you, you're you going to bench press or you're going to do uh, try pull ups or whatever, you're not going to get a huge back or, or no, nah, it's, it's not going to happen. Don't be afraid. I mean, it's just impossible. So just train everything. You see it so many times, all the women in the gym are training legs and all the guys are training upper body but no just combine everything and for a beginner i'm personally a fan of doing like an upper and lower body uh, type of split so for example if you're going two days in a week to the gym you do one day upper body and one day lower body so lower body is legs of course and upper body is back chest shoulders and that works great another important part i think is i see a lot of and that's especially with women i see a lot of women just sitting on some sort of machine with their cell phone and just going through the motion like 100 times and not really training and just sitting on their phone and texting or chatting or whatever but no just for for that short time just focus on the exercise i mean for example you do uh, a leg curl you do three sets of 10 reps so what do you do you put your phone away or you listen to some music you do 10 reps you focus don't be afraid to use some weight then you take one minute rest you can use your phone if you want to i prefer to leave it on the side but if you want to you can use your phone for one minute then you go to into into the second set and you do three sets like that and after that you move on to the next exercise and just really work with sets and reps and rest period i will make more videos up uh, to explain uh to do like the kind of workouts you can do like full body workout upper and lower body workout or different kind of splits and stuff like that but that's not for this video because it will be way too long so i think the most important part to get started into fitness are get a plan so be sure to write some things out print something out get a workout plan going second of all don't be afraid to go to the weight section Cardio isn't the only way, of course, if you want to do cardio, that's great, but don't be afraid of weights. And third of all, is do your exercise correctly and focus on the exercise. Don't just sit around on your phone. And I think those three parts are the most important part to get started. Of course, keeping motivated is a whole other story, but we will get to that in another video. So. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. So be sure to like this video, comment if you have any questions, if you want to see another kind of video or a something explained, something that I didn't explain well in this video. And be sure to subscribe if you like the content. So see you in the next one.